today's journey is taking us to my daughter's house. Chris needs to help her with a couple little projects that she has going on in her house. Isn't that just what we parents do? Stopped by our local TSC store because he's replacing a deck railing board that's rotted, but she's always liked to watch the birds that, so we thought we'd put up a bird feeder pole for her. And then, oh my gosh, I just love, if, if you've not made it into a TSC store to see their outdoor items, oh, they are just so super cute. Yeah, so she has her deck. Uh, we're going to make it last. So, so um, it's not the way that Chris necessarily would have constructed it. But when you offer us food, sure, we'll come over. And okay, well, I'll come over to play with the kittens. And Chris will come over and do some of the work. Yes, there's a rotted board um, that is just dangerous splinters. And then unfortunately um no there's not a workspace so he's just going to be working out of the back of his van to cut the piece of wood down you need me to hold the board no. and then the deck needs to be tightened the railing is really loose just the way that they made it um it is what it is. So you're just, we're just going, he's just, he's just going to tighten it up and I'm just going to stand by, talk to my daughter and watch him work. There's not really much that we can do to help him other than moral support. I'm sorry, y'all. I am an animal lover, and these little kittens of hers are just so stinking sweet. I just absolutely love coming over and playing with them. And of course, while I'm playing with them, you know, she can she'll think of another project like hanging her um television on the wall. So eh, I'll just sit here and cuddle with these. There's actually four of them. There's four. Two she is keeping, and the other two, um, she's just raising to their next owners are going to take them oh it's going to be really hard to separate these four As a picker and reseller, you are constantly looking for stuff to buy and resell. Or for me, repurpose or make over. Um, yeah, so on our way back from our house, we stopped at our local our local antique malls. We probably pop in these at least once a month to see how things have changed. Anybody got some new stock? You know, I'm just, you just never know what you're going to find. Um, so yes, I love visiting and supporting our local um, antique dealers. And oh man, I wish that porcelain wasn't cracked on that beauty, but it is just, it's fun to look around. You know, I have, I have an idea in my head of things that I can repurpose in a price range that I'm willing to pay or what I know I would pay at auction because everybody gets things at a different price. So do I need any more ironstone? You know, when you love something, you spot it all the time. So not at the moment, I don't think so, but I keep finding it too. And I just learned what these were for. I never really knew what these were for. I always thought they were part of a condiment tray and they were missing pieces, but that I just recently learned through a pick that they were bone um, plates that you would put your bones on when you were eating fish hmm anyway let's tour the antique mall who doesn't like to look at some yummies but is it all there uh, I don't know. It's... He's just a little, he's just a single guy. He's just a single. 
Just a single. So I have to remember to bring a mic with me when I do things like that. I'm, I'm new with this log and things, so forgive me. I will get, we will get this under control. But these are the yummies. <laughs> yeah, y'all, this is what we found in an antique mall that was affordable to flip for a profit, to make over, I could envision. It's amazing the littles and just the little stuff that you can find just going into an antique mall. Not everything is everybody's taste when they're getting a ha their own haul or their own pick from an auction. So yeah, <laughs> I am always. That's why we at least try to go to our local one once a month. If not, when we're at an auction and we're going through a town, we will stop in that town, and if it's time. We will go ahead and, yeah, visit their antique mall and look at those gorgeous. I know I was going to keep those brushes for myself, but I had so much interest in them. Oh, it was so hard, y'all. When I showed my story on Facebook and Instagram of people that were interested in it. Yes. Yep. This is a beautiful haul. So thank you so much for watching today's video. It's just a quick little blurb of what we're up to. No big projects yet. We just recently closed on the house, but we don't have, we closed on the 6th, but we don't have possession of the house to the 12th. It's just how funds are transferred. Um, so yes, it's still the waiting game, but thank you for checking out what we were doing at our daughter's, playing with some kittens and going antiquing. And these quick little hauls that I show, when I show them, I will pop whatever I think anybody might be interested on eBay is just how that works. And some of it may be already in our booth. So again, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, oh my gosh, you guys, you help me get monetized. You're we are on our way, our path to bringing Chris home at least part time to help do all those projects that are at our house. We have so in the new house, there's so many projects. So with getting monetized this early, I just am beyond shocked. So wow, I hit the subscription, I hit the watch time, and now if y'all want to go back and rewatch some of those videos, um, yeah, because those those were just like watching for free, but I just really appreciate you all um, and the interest of our journey on our new adventure. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.